What's going on guys? I am back with another video. This time I'm going to be uh, talking about the combos for the deck profile that uh, I just recently uploaded. Um, this is going to be the Aratama one card combo. And I did actually show this in the deck profile, but I wanted to go over it real quick because it's kind of the basis for, for the reason that we run Aratama in this deck. So yeah, we're going to start off with Aratama. We're going to normal summon it. We're going to add Sakitama. We're going to use Sakitama to normal summon itself by effect. We're going to uh, go rank 4 Infernal Flame Banshee. We're going to detach one to add. We're going to add the Populous. And this is why we actually run the Aratama combo. Because it can just straight up search Populous. So we're going to special summon Populous by its own effect. And then activate its on field effect. We'll go link into IP. We'll activate the Populous to put itself back in the Spell and Trap zone, and then we'll activate the original Sinful Spoils, sending it to the Grave. To then Special Summon, the Ponyx. So this is how we're going to get into our Fire King stuff. We're going to add the Sanctuary, and we're going to activate it to place the Field Spell. Then we're going to activate the Field Spell, we're going to destroy the Ponyx, and add the Garunix. Then we're going to activate the Garunix in hand to special summon itself. And we're going to activate the on-field effect to destroy Barong from the deck. And we're going to go ahead and link them off into Promethean Princess. We're going to activate Promethean Princess, bring back any any fire monster, it doesn't even matter. Um, and then we'll go into Amblo Wheel. So, let's see. What does this give you? During the standby phase, we'll add the Ponyx and the Kirin. The Kirin will be added off of the Barong from the deck. So, let's actually go back. So let's say they didn't have this evenly matched and they tried to actually play. We have the Amblo Whale. We have the Promethean Princess to pop it. To then special summon the IP. Which then, we can pop the Promethean Princess with the Kirin. To then special summon the Garunix and the Ponyx. And then that'll give us enough um, material to use for IP to go into something. And then, we would basically pop off from there. We would also get the Xyz. So, Amblo Will just kind of adds, like, I would say two interruptions. Let's say Amblo Will adds two interruptions. So, the evenly matched is getting rid of our Amblo Will. And then they're going to try to play. And we're going to do our Fire King stuff. We're going to pop the Ponyx with Kirin. We're going to special summon the Garunix off of its own effect. And then we're going to activate its effect. To send another Kirin. We'll special summon the Ponyx. And then destroy either one of their monsters. It doesn't matter in this situation. We'll activate the Ponyx to add us some follow-up. And then when they special summon, we have Promethean Princess to pop one of our monsters and one of their monsters. And then we can also go into the Xyz to then destroy all the monsters on the field. So that gives us, let's say the Amblo Will is, the Amblo Will is one, the IP is two. So that's the two that, that would have come off of Amblo Will. And then the Kirin is three, the Promethean Princess is four. And the Garunix Eternity is five. So that's five interruptions, plus uh, some follow-up because we did destroy the Ponyx, so the Ponyx will come back. So we have a good amount of follow-up because we have the Ponyx plus the Skyburn plus whatever we draw into. So yeah, this is what we would start with on our next turn. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Let's move on to the next combo. All right, so I wanted to show that Sakitama isn't necessarily a brick. You would think, oh my god, this hand looks like a brick, right? It's not actually a brick, because Sakitama can get itself onto the board for free. So, let's see what we'll do. We'll normal summon the Hanuman, and then we'll use the Sakitama to basically special summon itself, but technically it's normal summoning itself. Um, and then we'll go into Banshee, Infernal Flame Banshee. And then from here, you're off to the races doing the same thing we did in the last combo. 
So I just wanted to show that Sakitama is actually not that bad of a brick in most situations. Because, you know, you run like 6 or 7 level 4s. So keep that in mind. Alright, so the next combo is, what if you see a hand like this? Where you have 1 for 1, a monster to discard for it, and Aratama. So this actually gets you into your full combo, plus any rank 4. So keep that in mind, the 1 for 1 goes into the Snake Eye stuff. And then the Aratama can get you into any rank 4 because you don't actually have to use your normal summon for the Snake Eye stuff. So Aratama. We'll go into the Infernal Flame Banshee. And I just wanted to show off that, that you could actually add this extender. Um, and this can actually get you into an extra link 2 at the end of your combo. But instead, if you wanted to, you could go into Redoer or Tornado Dragon, or even like if you're in a pinch, you could go into Baguska. You could go into any rank four. This is like a rank four toolbox card. So yeah, keep that in mind. And you're going to go into the one for one and you're basically going to do your full combo. So check it out, right here. You use the Spirit of Flames to banish the Infernal Flame Banshee. And then you can proc the Infernal Bla uh, Flame Banshee effect because you do have a Pyro on the field. So that allows you to special summon it. And then you're able to link off into basically anything. Now you can go off into uh, SP, a Nightmare Monster, um, you know, any link to basically. So I chose early because I'm a budget player and that's what I have. So that's what I use. So yeah, that's going to be your two and a half card combo using Aratama and one for one. Um, you can do a very similar thing using Bonfire and Aratama. So yeah, let's move on to the next combo. All right. So this is going to be the last combo in this video. Um, I just wanted to show a different route that you can take um, if, let's say, you start with Sanctuary and Ponyx and Aratama in your hand. Um, you can still go through, like, a bunch of the Snake Eye stuff and Link Climb a bunch, and then at the end of that, go into your Fire King stuff. Or vice versa, do your Fire King stuff first, and then do all the Snake Eyes Link Climbing and stuff like that. That way you can avoid, like, Droll and Ash and things like that. So, an Imperm. So, yeah. We'll go Normal Summon Aratama. We'll, this, this is going to start off the same as all the other combos. We'll go into Infernal Flame Banshee. We'll uh, detach one, add Populous. So now this is where it's going to change. We're going to link off into IP. We're going to put the Populous into the Spell and Trap Zone. And we're going to use the original Spoils to summon not the Ponyx but the Snake Eyes Ash. And then we'll use the Snake Eye Ash to add Birch. Birch will special summon itself. Ash will send itself and Birch to special summon the Flame Birch. So then at that point, we do have two level ones in the grave. We actually have three. So we're gonna link those two off into Promethean Princess. And we're going to use Flamberge effect to summon two. And then we're going to use the Promethean Princess to special summon back the Flamberge. The reason for that is because we want to use the Flamberge to uh, put the IP into the spell and trap. And then special summon it on the opponent's turn. So we're going to link off the Promethean Princess and the Populace into the Amblo Wheel. And we're going to keep the Birch on the field because... Uh, we need that body for the IP in order to be able to have the option to go into things like Appaloosa and Underworld Goddess. So on your opponent's draw phase, you want to use the Flamberge to get the IP up. 
The reason for that is you don't want them to go into the main phase and then they have an action before you're able to get the IP into the main monster zone. Because you want to be able to react with the IP right away. So what does this give you? This gives you Amblo Whale, Appaloosa, Promethean Princess. So that's three very strong interruptions. Because the Amblo Whale is going to get popped by the Promethean Princess and pop the opponent's card. And then the Appaloosa is going to have three negates. As you can see here, going to have three negates. So, so then the moment your Promethean Princess gets destroyed, you can banish the Amblo Whale to then destroy another card on your opponent's field. And it doesn't even target. So very strong interruption. Um, if you had a link in your in your graveyard, namely Pit Knight early, because it would have to be a fire because you would have Promethean Princess on the board. Um, or if your opponent has like let's say a Hita on in their graveyard, you can then special summon their Hita. So yeah, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Um, not obviously not as strong as going into the Fire King stuff. That's why we do the Fire King stuff. But I just wanted to show another option, just in case, you know, you already drew the Fire King stuff. It doesn't really uh, involve uh, bricks, because Birch isn't really a br uh, brick. As long as you control a fire monster, you can special summon it from your hand. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys liked it, like and subscribe. Let me know if I could uh, improve any of these combos in any way. Let me know if I missed anything. And let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'm out. Peace.